Okay, so, um... We're gonna down this boss. Nah, I love that you noob. Ha 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 ha. Da ha ha. Na ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Alright, now that I'm done with that. Uh, this boss, basically what he's going to do, he's a total tank and spank, he'll occasionally do a move that'll, it's called water, bolt, volley, or some shit like that. And he'll hit everyone in the group with a water bolt thing that doesn't do a lot of damage, just fucking heal. The main thing is he's going to put a dot on, uh, whoever's tanking, and it will continuously, it'll hit them for 600 damage, like, every two seconds until they're dead and it will not go away unless that person is fully healed which is pretty fucking annoying so yeah so you can see the boss is dead but the person's still taking damage and will continue to take damage until fully healed fortunately our healer doesn't totally fail at life so that went fairly smoothly um, alright, so now we're gonna do, uh, the next pull thing, whatever it is. Death Knights are so overpowered, it's not even funny. We're, we're fucking beasts. I'll probably, I'll probably upload raid videos of my mage whenever that occurs. Because I had a raid earlier, and then once again... I'm in a different deal, but because I was in the last two raids on Nats, they'd made me sit out for the third one. So I was like, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. It was kind of like that. Sierra Mist. Can't resist the mist. Anyway. But yeah. That's, that's basically what happened. So, at that point I was... And this game is starting to, like, seriously bore me. Like, now that my mage is, like, 80, and he's decked out in, like, all sorts of different... Like, he's got two out of five of the tier seven, and a whole bunch of other epics, and, like, all the best heroic gear and all this shit. Like, I bought all the gear that I need with badges. So, basically, the only thing I do now, or that I even log on to my mage horse to raid... And we only do that on Thursdays. So basically, I, uh... It's a good thing that the Death Knight is pretty chaos, because otherwise I wouldn't be playing WoW at all, because it's like... Fuck. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the Death Knight. So that should keep me entertained. If I'm entertained, that'll let me stay entertained in order to upload videos. That way, I can entertain you guys. Yay for... Entertainment, I guess. Whatever. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so, uh, pretty much all my time is spent on my death night. I do, like I said, the only time I do log on to my mage is on Thursday to go raid. And more than likely, they probably won't let me join the raid anyway. I don't know why, because my mage is totally, like, completely kick ass. I do, like, a shitload of damage and stuff. But whatever, you know what? Fuck them. So anyway. Yeah. Um. Depending on how much I play my Death Knight, it might end up becoming my new main. It'll probably be my new... I'll be spending, like, a lot of time on it at first, once I hit 80, just so I can get it fully geared. And then once my Death Knight is fully geared, I'm probably not going to play it at all. Or, if I won't play WoW at all, just because I'll be that fucking bored. And uh, they came out with the new Gladiator gear. The new S5 and shit, so I'll probably uh, do a lot of PvP and stuff after I'm done raiding. Hopefully by the time my Death Knight hits 80, they will have done a patch at some point. And stuff. That way, I'll actually have something to do. Maybe they'll release the Ice Crown Citadel raid. We can go kill Arthas. Or something. I don't know. Ugh. Anyway. 
So yeah. Basically I'm just trying to uh trying to kill time right now. Yeppers. What it is, party people. What it is. Alright, so this is the last pool. Basically what you do is you kill this dude. Uh the um you free that guy over there. And then, once you do, another poll will start, and he'll be like, Oh my god, I left intruders, ah. Fucking kill him! So what do you do? You fucking kill him. Thus, killing him, he will give you a buff. Once you let him out, he'll give you a buff that increases all of your stats by 5%. And increases your nature resistance by 110 I believe it is. It might be 130. It doesn't really matter. The, uh, the boss will hit you with... Like, the only thing he does is nature damage. He'll hit you with some kind of poison shit. And if you don't have the buff... You're probably gonna get your ass completely fucking owned. Maybe, I don't know. Every time I did this on Heroic, we never did the... We never got the buff, so we were just like, yeah, fuck it. But anyway... Oh yeah, this is the part where I'm like, um, you know what, I wanna tank this bitch. And there you, and, uh, the mage dude was like, fine, tank this bitch. And I was like, fine, I will tank this bitch. Look, I'm gonna tank this bitch. Bam, bitch is getting tanked. Oh ho ho ho. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, the whole boss is just tank its bitch, he'll do a other shit, a thing, the... Poison thing he does hits everyone, have a druid, uh, cleanse it, or whatever it is. Just fucking heal, take and spange, it's not that hard. Anyway, Viet and Diablos, people. <laughs>